In fact, I have two questions to ask Mr. Didat. Number one, Mr. Didat, is that you did mention that the Quran is the only book that is unadopted and unchanged. Now, as a Christian, I believe that that's not the case, but I want you to prove me wrong. Uh, since Muslims or Islam refutes some of the basic doctrines of Christianity, which also means that basically it rejects what the Bible teaches, present-day Bible. I would like to ask this question, however. If then what you're saying between the lines is true that the Bible has been changed, I would like to know when and when and also, I would like also to make mention of this fact that Mr. Muller mentioned it and quoted from the Quran that the Quran is sent to confirm that which came before it, but note, it says also to save God, those scriptures that came before it. Now, if then the Quran is there to save, to confirm and save God, the Bible, or the Christian and Jewish scripture that came before it, if the Bible has been changed, it means that the Quran has failed in its duty to say God in those scriptures. You see, the Holy Quran confirms that Jesus is the Christ. Something worth confirming because the Jews, they insinuated that Jesus Christ, because he had no earthly father, he was the illegitimate child of Mary. So either the Muslim must accept that, or accept what the Christian said that his father is God. So the Quran comes to rectify the misconception that the Christian has, that because he has no earthly father, his father is God. So it says, Ya Halal Kitab, O people of the book, La Taghlu Fi Deenakum. Do not go to extremes in your religion. Don't go to extremes, you Jews and Christians. You Jews are going to one extreme and the Christians are going to another extreme. Don't go to extremes. Wala taqulu alallah illa al-haq. And don't say anything about God except the truth. And what the truth is? Inna mal Masih, most certainly the Messiah. Isa ibn Maryama, Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah is the messenger of God. So it confirms. It rectifies you wherever you made faults, wherever you made your interpolations, your trinity is a fabrication, it says so. That Jesus is the begotten son of God, it says so. You see, it rectifies your mistakes and it tells you, as, as, a, as our brother pointed out, that it is a check on what you, the Christians and the Jews are teaching. So this is what, this is the book of God. It is confirming what is with you, what is true. If you say that God is one, it confirms. If you say adultery is evil, it confirms. That stealing is bad, it confirms. Taking of life, killing people is bad, it confirms. So whatever is right, it confirms. And then wherever you have made mistakes, it corrects you. And then it replaces with the right answer. Mr. Dilla, I believe that you did not answer my question because my question was this. I'm not asking what the I am talking about the, those things which the Quran disagrees as far as the Bible is concerned, which ultimately means that the Muslims disagree with the Bible as well. Now, now, excuse me, excuse me. Now that means if it is alleged that the Quran, all right, the confirmation you have to some link explain. But if the Quran is there to safeguard the Bible, then such discrepancy should not be found. I want to know which Bible are you talking about? Because there are dozens and dozens of Bibles, different, different versions. Which one are you talking about? You see, the Roman Catholics, they have what is called the Douay version of the Bible. You know about that, right? And that Bible has 73 books. 73 books. 
Now, must I accept that one or accept yours? Yours has got 66. You are a Protestant, I take it. Silence. You are a Protestant, I take it. Please, please. Unless you are a Roman Catholic. Are you a Roman Catholic? I know why. I know why. Because now you see, this is the trick that the Christian plays on you. When you want to know where do you belong, are you fish or fowl? And the man won't tell you. <laughs> see, because as soon as you say, as soon as you say that you belong to a certain denomination, I say your denomination was a partner in this Bible, which went on to say that the King James Version has great defects. If you say that you belong to a certain church, I say, look, that church of yours backed this Bible up, which threw out the ascension of Jesus, thrown out, Trinity thrown out, begotten son thrown out. Can you see? So I said, your church was involved. So the easy way out is, I don't own up where I belong. I don't want to say what church I belong to. So it's an easy way out. So you can take any impossible stand, and the man can say nothing to you. Uh, please, give somebody else a chance. Next question. And if you want to ask another question, go at the back.